the fun part. We're gonna start putting it all together. We've just been doing a deep dive into the S part of shape, our, our spiritual gifts. But let me, before we get into that, let me just remind us that the God who made us has given us his spirit and with the spirit gifts. The God who made us has given us natural talents or abilities. The God who has made us has given us just things that we care deeply about, the passionate things of our heart. The God who has made us and gifted us, it would make sense that our personality jives with that in some of the experiences we've had. In fact, all the experiences, none of them wasted, all fit together to what God has for us right now. Do not fall into the trap of going, these were my gifts 20 years ago and these are my gifts now, because here's what I believe. Our gifts have everything to do with where the church is today and what God is doing in this church and his work in the world through that church. And so you may have used some gifts back in the day. Like I remember, I used to sing at funerals. I had every older woman at college church saying, would you please sing for my funeral? I don't sing anymore. I teach now and I preach and I lead. And so don't expect that these things are static. There's a dynamic movement of God's work that has everything to do with the bigger picture of, remember, my gifts fitting into me, fitting into the church and God's greater purpose of the world. And so uh, this is exciting. This is the exciting part. And what I want you to do is just hear the, the overview of the shape concept here and then understand where you've been finding these videos you can go back and you can find assessments we've already talked about the spiritual gifts assessment but you can have uh, an assessment where you understand your own heart passions another one that assesses your own natural talents and abilities another one that just reacquaints you with your own personality and how you're wired another one that helps you reflect on the different experiences so you put that all together and you understand your God-given shape, which is an awesome way to start going, oh, that's why I'm here. And I've never put the pieces together. So, so exciting to take you through shape right now. So we begged, borrowed, steel, ripped off all the stuff from Saddleback Church. It's great work Rick Warren and his church has done. They love sharing it with others. And so we have gladly used this, right? Nothing new under the sun to help you grow in your own understanding of yourself and your gifts and how God has shaped you. So I love this verse. For we are God's workmanship. Literally the word there is masterpiece. You're masterpiece. You don't always think that, do you? When you look at yourself in the mirror, you're a masterpiece. You say that every time you look in the mirror this week. I'm a masterpiece. How so? Created in Christ Jesus. To do what? To do good works. What works? The good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. He's got a mission for you. And he shaped you and gifted you and given you these passions and these abilities and this personality, these experiences to make this dynamic impact. So are you ready? The yes talks about spiritual gifts. What am I gifted to do? What are the spiritual abilities that God has given me at this time in my life, in this church's history, to build up the church, to further God's work in the world? The H is all about heart, our passion. What do I love to do? What dreams, passions has God laid on your heart? When you work through the construct, you find out sometimes it can be a cause. Sometimes it could be like a group of people, like I am really into junior high, middle school students. I struggled then and I just love them. And I wanna build in if someone go, well, man, my deal is sports. My thing is stewardship and money management. Man, I am all over helping marriages because somebody helped our marriages and I wanna help us. You see what I'm saying? Identify that. That's what the H is all about. Then we get to our abilities or the natural talents and skills that you haven't even thought about. You just thought everybody can do those things. Not so. But those natural talents, a lot of them can just move right into the work of God's work in the church here. And it's great to bring those right alongside your gifts and your heart, your talents. P is personality. Where does my personality best suit me to serve? If you are an introvert, don't expect you to be someone that's got to be an upfront person. Now, by the way, there are a lot of people who are introverts and they lead. 
There are a lot of people who are introverts and they're great preachers. So don't get this false syllogism, but connect the dots in terms of, hey, you know what? I'm not an upfront person. That's just who I am by my personality. And so it makes sense that I might have the gift of helps or mercy or whatever, all right? And then we come to E, experiences. What experience have I had that might point me to an area of ministry? So think about spiritual experiences that you've had. Think about serving experiences in the past. Think about painful experiences, the valleys you've gone through, that God now wants to use those experiences to encourage someone else. There's more though. Think about educational experiences that you've had as well. So we're getting to our shape and we're going, man, if I understand my gifts, if I understand my heart passions, which to me, I'm just gonna say it, that could be icing on the cake. If you don't get the icing, you still get the cake, all right? So don't sweat if you go, I don't really know what my heart passion is. Don't worry about that. You should figure out your abilities and talents you shouldn't have a hard time working on your personality. You've probably taken enough of those already, whether it's Enneagram or Myers-Briggs or Strength Finders or whatever, and your experiences are history, so you know that, all right? So what to do as we kind of bring this home? Some tips on finding your sweet spot. So you start praying about this, all right? The second thing is you listen. That is, you talk to people who know you. So if you're on a ministry team, you talk to people on your ministry team and you ask them, what do you see in me when it comes to these gifts, right? You're in a small group. You go, hey, what do you see in me? And they go, well, man, here's what I see in you. Whenever somebody's, you know, pregnant and they just had a new baby and it's time to get the meal train, you're always the first person. You are such a helper. You definitely got the gift of helps, whatever. Ask people, listen to what they're saying and let God lead you through those people. And when all else fails, um, I just want you to step into places of service right now. Oh, by the way, going back to listening, it's not just asking people to, to, to give you reflection on where they think your gifts are, but also listen to the person who says, hey man, Hey, would you consider serving with me in middle school? Because I mean, I think you would just be an awesome leader and I would love to serve with you. When somebody says that, you stop and you don't dare go, no, for sure, no. You go, huh, man, I gotta pray about that. I gotta think about that. Why did you think about me? Man, I love you. I love serving with you. Let's talk more about that, all right? So pray about it, listen, and when all else fails, you just jump in to an opportunity and start to serve. And let me just say this. There's a whole bunch of things that need doing every week at Door Creek Church at our three campuses and with our partners out in the community and with our partners overseas. Every week, all kinds of things. And the things that need doing don't necessarily need a person with gifts. What they need is a person with availability. And so bring that available, humble, heart that loves Christ, that's been changed radically by his love for you, that you would do the same and give back to others. So glad that you stuck it through. Go find your shape. If we can help you in any way, you just contact us at the uh, church office here. We'd love to follow up with you. Thanks again and go serve God with a grateful heart, making a huge difference in this world.